Hello student, my name is Ridesh and you are watching my channel, your classroom at home. If you really want to increase your mathematics skills, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel. A student, in my previous lecture, I have discussed an important theorem related to triangles. In today's lecture, I am going to discuss the converse of this theorem. Let's watch it. It is given that A, B, C is a triangle and D is a point such that A, B A, B upon A, C is equals to the join A to D, B, D upon D, C. BD upon DC. Prove that AD is a bisector of angle BAC. To prove AD is the bisector of bisector of angle BAC. Construction Draw a line parallel to AD and meet AB at point E when produced. Draw a line from point C parallel to AD from point C parallel to AD and intersect AB intersect AB at point E when produce it is given that AB upon AC is equals to BD upon DC AB upon AC is equals to BD upon DC given. Now consider triangle BEC. In triangle BEC, AD is parallel to AC by construction. AD is parallel to CE by construction. Therefore, we know that by this theorem, AB upon AE equals to BD upon DC. By this theorem, AB upon AE is equals to BD upon DC. So, we have proved that AB upon AE is equals to BD upon DC, but it is given that BD upon DC is also equals to AB upon AC. Let's say this is first condition which is given to us and let's say this is second condition which we have proved. From first and second, we can say AB upon AC is equals to AB upon AE. Therefore, we can say here AB and AB are equal. If numerator are equal, then denominator are also equal. Or we can say AB and AB will cancel out. Now, by cross multiplying, AC is equals to AE. 
Therefore, AC is equals to AE. Now consider triangle AEC, which will be a isosceles triangle. Therefore, we can say angle one is equals to angle two. Angles opposite to equal sides are equal. Therefore, angle one is equals to angle two, since angles opposite to equal sides are equal in a triangle. So we have constructed AD is parallel to EC. AD is parallel to EC by construction. Therefore, we can say angle 1 is equals to angle 3. These are corresponding angles. Corresponding angles are equal when lines are parallel. Therefore, angle 1 is equals to angle 3. Similarly, let's say this angle is 4. Angle 4 is equals to angle 2. These are alternate angles. Angle 2 is equals to angle 4. These are alternate angles. Alternate angles. And these are corresponding angles. Therefore, 1 and 2 are already equal. So, replace angle 2 by 1. Replace angle 2 by 1 here. Therefore, we can say angle 1 is equal to angle 4. Let's say this is our fourth condition and this is our third condition. Now, from third and fourth, we conclude that angle 3 is equal to angle 4. From third and fourth, angle 3 equals to angle 4. Therefore, we can say AD is bisector of angle BAC. So, AD is the bisector of angle BAC. Therefore, AD is bisector of angle BAC. So, student, in today's lecture, I have discussed the converse of the theorem, which I have earlier discussed in my previous lecture. So, keep watching my videos and keep practicing. Thank you. Take care.